French Open Samantha Stoser perfectly placed for Roland Garros charge after making fourth round Samantha Stoser believes she is peaking beautifully for another second week tilt at French Open glory, seven years after she appeared in the final. Stoser, Australia's lone singles survivor, stormed into the fourth round for the sixth time in Paris with a 6-2. 6-2 dispatch of American qualifier Bethany Maxans. The 2010 finalist blew Maxans off the court in just over an hour to set up a last 16 meeting with Latvia Angelina Estapenko. A quarter final against former champion Svetlana Kuznetsova or Caroline Wozniacki looks imminent as Stoser showcased her title credentials with four aces. Seven service breaks and some of the fastest deliveries of the championships. Yet to drop us at all tournament, the victory in Stoser's milestone 50th match at Roland Garros was her eighth in a row on European clay and thrust the 33 year old firmly in the frame for overdue glory after a series of shattering near misses. I'm really pleased that I've been able to continue this form and get another straight sets win. Stoser said. I feel like I probably played a bit better again today and I'm just really, really happy. Bethany can be a really dangerous player. She obviously likes to play really aggressive and coming to net, kind of play big, and do all these things, and if you're not on and doing the right things against her, then she could make life very difficult. But I felt like every time she maybe had a bit of an opportunity or something like that. I was able to play a bit better and kind of squash that and then get myself ahead again. So just really pleased that I was able to play as well as I did. Stoser takes command early against Max Sands. Max Sands trudged onto the court with her left thigh heavily strapped and proceeded to make a horrible start. Second round results of note Woman Muguruza Blanco, 4, Def. Y Putinsva, 27, 7 5. 6 2 S. Kuznetsova, 8, Def. Z. Shuai, 32, 7 6, 7 5, 4 6, 7 to 5 Volts Williams, 10, Def. E. Merton, 6 3, 6 1 Menjikovic, 2, Def. D. Schwartzman, 5 7, 6 3, 3 6, 6 1, 6 1 Arnaudel, 4, Def. N. Basil Ashvili, 6 0, 6-1, M. Rayonic, 5, Def. G. Garcia Lopez 6-1, retired, the six-time major doubles champion was flabbergasted when foot faulted on the second point of the match. No way, Matt Sands repeatedly protested to the chair umpire. I never foot fault. Rattled, Matt Sands dropped her opening two service games as Stoser steamed to a 3-0 lead for the loss of only three points. Matt Sands finally got on the board in the fourth game but Stoser broke straight back before clinching the first set in 31 minutes. The pair traded early breaks in the second set, as Stoser sloppily dropped serve from 40-15 up in the fourth game. But as hovering storm clouds threatened to stall Stoser's progression, the 23rd seed wrestled back control with some piercing backhand return passes and her trademark forehand power. Clapping thunder almost forced the pair off court with Stoser 5 points from victory. But after consulting officials, the umpire allowed the combatants to play on, with Stoser eventually wrapping up the match in 1 hour and 10 minutes. Tap.